Right, listen up. Here's the jobs for the shift. Uh, some woman's reported water dripping from the ceiling in room 313 and there's a pile of rubble that needs shifting from behind the north block. Rad, you and your lot can sort all that out. Then there's two neon bulbs that need replacing in room 580. You better check the others as well. And the facilities manager says the automatic doors at reception in the south block keep sticking. Your lot can do that, Jace. And uh, there's a bin to put out the gate, ready for emptying in the morning. Your lot can see to that, Rad. I mean, wouldn't it be better if we split the heavy jobs between my team and Jason's team? I, I'm an electrician, I can fix the automatic doors. It's in the same block where the water leak is. Uh, I mean, it's more efficient that way. Rad. Now I'm the one that gets paid to do the thinking. Just get on with it. Okay. Come on in, lads. I'll catch you up. Thanks for that, mate. I thought I was going to have to get my hands dirty there for a minute. If it's mucky, get an illegal to do it. That's what I say. <laughs> hey! What took you so long, mate? Mick, we have a problem. Jason and me are a bit busy at the minute, Rad. A man of your education, I'm sure you can sort it out yourself. We have a problem. Please. If you want something done round here, you've got to do it yourself. You need to get him trained up, mate. Then they wouldn't keep bothering us. Tell me about it. Is he the lepi? This is how we find it. I mean, the supervisor's not shovel it for you. Well, the stuff keeps coming out. I... No, don't give me a problem, give me the solution. That's why you're the acting team leader. Just get it sorted. And don't take all day. All done then, Rod? Problem fixed. We're clearing up. I told you, man of your calibre. Shouldn't be a problem, little thing like a block toilet. More than blocked. But then... Who's cleaning up? Franco? Yeah. Rather him than me. Could just go and show your face though, mate. Check it's all done properly while well, I write a note to the facilities manager and then we're out of it. Rad's guys can go and take the bins around at the gates after we've gone. You don't need us for that, do you, Rad? Yeah, all right. Come on, Rad. Look sharp. Yes, very good, sir. What's that? Ah, it's all good. Are you using or chemicals? Yes, why? Without hands. Because you're not drunk. It's worse than you burn in your hands. Did you read the warning on the bottle? You're so sad. Jason and me were supposed to have the same job. We have the same grade. Uh, uh, but he gets paid more and does less. I mean, I mean they, they tell me I'm supposed to be an acting team leader. Well, what does this mean, acting? Uh, means that I do the job as a team member and as a team leader. I mean, Mick lets Jason sit around drinking tea, playing cards while we do all the work. I mean, they tell me and my team to do all the dirty jobs and the heavy jobs. Uh, just because we come from a different country, it doesn't mean it's right to treat us badly. Yeah, well, luckily they're grateful to have a job. And let's face it, the mess we clean up sometimes, they need to be grateful. But with what they're earning, and granted it's not a lot by our standards, but when they get back home, they could buy themselves a mansion. A couple of years working here, and they could live like millionaires back home. So do they care about cleaning a couple of toilets at the weekend? No, of course not. Za ovu nas ilegalci, ali u stvari imamo isto pravo da radimo ovdje kao što oni imaju. Ja sam iz Srbije, radio iz Hrvatske. Oni drugi su Albanci i jedan je iz Poljske. Ali siguran sam da Jason to uopšte ne zna. Za ovu nas budale i misle da ne znamo šta pričaju uopšte. Ali znamo i razumemo. 
Oh, fair enough, we take the mickey out of them. Nothing nasty, though. But we'd get the same if we were in their country, wouldn't we? That's life. And so what if they have to do their fair share of dirty work? You know, they can't expect to come over here and get all the cushy jobs, do you know what I mean? Where, where I come from, we work hard. We, we, we take pride in what we do, and even if it is fixing toilets. I mean, we don't want to complain. We, do, we don't want to cause trouble. But uh, well, they never told us uh, about any safety training, or we didn't have any safety training. I, I mean, what's uh, Mick going to put down in the accident book about Branko burning his hands? From the point of view of the law, um, this would be direct discrimination. It's uh, less favourable treatment on the grounds of race, giving rise to a detriment. People knowing that a business is functioning in this way is going to give you problems with recruitment, it's going to cause problems in terms of getting jobs, and it's certainly going to cause problems with contracting with uh, public sector organisations. The public agency would be vicariously liable and all managers up to the chief exec would be responsible. Consequently, if the, if, if the public agency is aware that the contractor had a supervisor who was behaving in this manner, they can actually ask for that supervisor to be removed, if not dismissed, or, worse still, they can actually terminate the contract.